1982, a team of scientists on Seymour Island in Antarctica stumbled upon a discovery that would rewrite the continent's history. Buried deep in the frozen earth was a fossil, unlike anything they had ever seen. Carbon dating revealed its staggering age, approximately 66 million years old, of the remains of a Mosasaurus, a colossal marine reptile that once ruled the prehistoric seas. But this was only the beginning. Over the next few years, researchers unearthed more fossils of creatures that were long extinct, proving that Antarctica was once alive with forests, rivers, and apex predators. It hadn't always been a frozen wasteland. Millions of years ago, before the supercontinent Gondwana broke apart, this southern land was lush and vibrant. As the landmass drifted southward, the climate hardened, and life was driven out by the advancing ice. For centuries, Antarctica remained hidden from human understanding. By the time explorers reached its shores, humankind had already mapped every planet in the solar system. Yet, here on Earth, was a vast, frozen desert unknown to civilization. Once, its oceans swarmed with deadly hunters that no human had ever imagined. Then, in 2007, American researchers found something extraordinary near Seymour Island, the fossil of a giant squid-like creature called Tusotuthis. This predator, which lived roughly 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period, was an oceanic nightmare. 30 feet long, with eight muscular arms, and two long tentacles built for snaring prey in the pitch-black depths. Swift, powerful, and relentless, it was the undisputed ruler of the ancient Antarctic seas. So what ended its reign? Scientists believe that shifting global temperatures disrupted marine food chains, while new predators emerged, bioluminescent deep-sea fish that hunted in coordinated swarms. Today, only its fossils remain. Yet, in the frigid depths of Antarctica, its distant relative still survives, the colossal squid. Matching Tusotuthis in size but stronger in build, it remains one of the ocean's most formidable living creatures. Fast forward to around 16 million years ago, during the Miocene Epoch, Antarctica wasn't the icy wilderness we know today. It was a place of diversity, home to a remarkable creature scientists now call Australodelphus. It looked like a modern dolphin, yet its skull and jaw were uniquely adapted for hunting. Long, pointed teeth gave it a vice-like grip, while its streamlined body allowed bursts of speed reaching 40 kilometers per hour. Fossils found on Seymour Island in the 1980s prove that this marine hunter thrived here for up to six million years before the encroaching ice sealed its fate. In the same era, or perhaps even earlier, even stranger predator swam these waters. Piranognathus, a rare bony fish from the Cretaceous period, around 94 million years ago. With a slender body, but a massive tooth-studded jaw, it specialized in seizing deep-sea prey. Growing up to four meters long and weighing a quarter of a ton, it could slice through the water at 35 kilometers per hour. Its fossils, found in Egypt and possibly Antarctica, hint that the continent once enjoyed warm seas teeming with tropical life. But the catastrophic asteroid impact 66 million years ago altered the oceans forever, wiping this predator from existence. Today's largest saltwater crocodile can grow over 7 meters long, with a jaw force of 3,700 pounds per square inch, enough to crush a human skull as easily as a soda can. Now, imagine a predator from 250 million years ago, when Antarctica was lush and temperate. That's Antarctosuchus, a massive Triassic reptile adapted to hunt both in water and on land. With muscular limbs, razor teeth, and a powerful tail, it could chase down prey with lethal precision. Weighing up to 700 kilograms, it was among the top predators of its era, until the mass extinction at the Triassic-Jurassic boundary erased 70% of Earth species. And then, there was Elasmosaurus, a marine reptile whose absurdly long neck, up to 6 meters, made it look like a living submarine periscope. 
Stretching over 14 meters in total length and weighing two tons, it could strike from below with a surprise attack. In 2017, a near-complete fossil was found near Seymour Island, confirming it as one of the most elegant yet deadly predators of the prehistoric seas. Dinosaurs ruled the planet for 165 million years, and astonishingly, they roamed Antarctica too. In 1991, near Mount Kirkpatrick, scientists uncovered the remains of a new species, Cryolophosaurus. Standing 6.5 meters long, armed with sharp teeth, and crowned with a bony crest, it was the apex predator of the Jurassic forests that once covered Antarctica. Carbon dating placed it at 190 million years old, long before the ice took over, and then came the most mysterious discovery of all. In 2019, while drilling in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, an international team found an exceptionally well-preserved fossil unlike any known creature. They named it Antocox, King of Antarctica. At 200 million years old, it came from the shadowy years after the Permian-Triassic extinction, when most life had vanished. Small, yet fierce, just over a meter long and weighing no more than 15 kilograms, it was swift, armed with a strong bite and without natural predators. But as ecosystems collapsed and the climate turned hostile, it too disappeared into history, entombed in ice for millions of years. Today, Antarctica is a silent expanse of snow and wind, with no forests, no rivers, and no visible life. Yet its fossils tell of an ancient realm of giants and hunters, of warm seas and green valleys. Each bone and shell pulled from its frozen grip is a piece of a greater puzzle, the story of a forgotten world that thrived at the bottom of the earth. And though the creatures are gone, their legends remain frozen in time.